All right, it's time for a costume update. You won't believe what Kathy's up to. Or maybe you will. But right now, she looks like a peanut. <laughs> What's up? Are you in there somewhere? I am. I got the hot glue gun. Look out. What are you doing? I got really hurt with the peanut one time before. <laughs> hot glue. I was putting the mouth in. Okay. This beautiful little mouth. Yeah. So Honda sent back all of their spokes crumb costumes that Kathy built. And spokes crumb? Spokes crumb, that's what they are. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and that's the peanut. We talk about crumbs. Yep. He yeah, gets world. picked up by a vacuum. And then the popcorn is here. So what do they want you to do on this? Oh, he's got the hat on. Yeah, I mocked up a little hat. Yep. There's a possibility. So I have to work on this eye, pull that out, fix that yellow, mm -hmm. and uh, make a hat. Okay. For both of them. Yeah. from 600 blocks, 600 episodes. That's pretty crazy. We're not celebrating. All we're doing is uh, losing Kathy. Hello, Kathy. Hello, I saw a bug. You saw a bug? It's Sunday morning and we're walking through the nave, but we're going up to the coffee place, the new coffee place in town, which is Cafe Lux. It's about a mile and a half walk from here. So go there, get our Joe, and uh, run back really fast. This young lady had a cappuccino, but it was too small. So she ended up having an espresso, which was too strong. But she didn't have trouble finishing the boat. It both. wasn't too strong. I loved it. And now I have plenty of energy to walk back. Yeah. In fact, bye. <laughs> Kathy Lux, awesome. She wants to go to the beach for a second. I know, it's right here. It's right there. So we're gonna walk down to this beach access. traffic this is always fun I don't mind but it's the weekend here in Malibu and it's uh, Sunday and everybody wants to come out here it's, and we get to look at the houses while we're driving slow it's a veritable playground of coolness we're gonna go up into town we have a bunch of uh, fruit that we want to get 
and stuff because Kathy's doing her amazing drinks. But we're gonna go by and see our buddy Paul Grisanti. Oh, that's right. Paul's got a house that is up in the hills of Malibu, not too, too far from here. That looks pretty cool. We're gonna take you guys, go check it out. Day. Okay, we, we, we went shopping and got a bunch of fruit. We got papayas, bananas, uh, what else? What else did we get? Pears. Pears, protein powder, just a bunch of different things. Lettuce. Lettuce. Uh, we won't be putting that in Kathy's drink. Uh, and now we're I gonna- I put spinach in my drink though. Yes, that is. Well, is spinach technically today. a lettuce? Uh. I don't think it is. I think it's spinach. Would Popeye say that spinach is a lettuce? Probably not. Uh, and you would never have a can of lettuce, lettuce like <laughs> Popeye had. No. But then who would have a can of spinach? That's so gross. Popeye would. I know. And it's obviously gross. it's really good for, not strength, it's really good just for your forearms. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've seen this many cars in Malibu. Uh, we went from one traffic section to the next traffic section. In fact, it's gridlock right at the moment. Yeah, it is gridlock in Malibu, which um, happens from time to time. Uh, Paul, if you're watching this, we're coming to see you, man, just kind of creeping. So. You can't be watching this right now because you don't have a direct feed to your vlog. What's up, Paul? There he is, I can see him. I can see him, he's right there. He's watching us right now. that Paul has uh, has listed. This is a little over three million bucks, but uh, Paul's not here right now. Paul, we're here. Uh, we're a little bit early and the traffic is so bad. You wanna know how bad it is? I'm gonna show you. There's a high probability that Paul is in a lot of traffic. That's the house. I can't tell you anything about it. I can probably tell you more about the Volvo than I can about the house. All right, we just talked to Paul and uh, the owner actually changed his mind, didn't want to show it today. So we came up. No, we're seeing it. We checked it out. It's kind of nice. Uh, we'll come up again and show you guys at a different time. Yeah. And now we get to get in traffic. So the vlog will continue about four hours from now. Oh, just sneeze.
people are not going to drive this car the way I drive it to be able to show you guys. And I don't always want to show you guys a nice, clean, shiny car, because when you buy a car and you drive it, it gets dirty. And, and that's the way you should see it. Car companies want to sell you cars, but when you drive it for a long time, after a while, it gets dirty. And if you still like it when it's dirty, then it's still cool. And what you see before you is a dirty driven Volvo. A fantastic car on so many levels, a spectacular ride. Like I said, not everyone's gonna drive it the way I would drive it for you guys or drive it as hard. It's more of a luxury, leisurely drive, but it's a spectacular car, even when it's filthy. I like this car in every way. The only thing that I had trouble with as I spent the better part of 15 minutes trying to find the hood latch release. I don't like looking at the owner's manual and having to figure that out. I, I'd rather kind of find it on my own. Eventually, I had to give up and I looked at the owner's manual and it said that the hood release latch is on the passenger's compartment. So I spent another five minutes looking on that side only to find that it, it's not on that side, it's on the driver's side and it's black and it's hidden along the sidewall, not easy to find. Obviously not easy to open either. Now, it's got this Volvo cover right in the center. And what would normally be plastic, like this, it's not, it's, it's rubber. It's, it's spongy. Crazy freaking Swedish people. S90 T6 all-wheel drive inscription. A lot of words, a lot of words. Amazing car, really uh, quite an amazing car. Not only is it supercharged, but it's turboed. 316 horsepower at about 5,700 RPM. The dogs seem to enjoy that. 295 foot-pounds of torque. Although it gets about 25 miles per gallon on average, a little bit higher, uh, obviously, on the, on the highways. But all that, all that Swedishness, all that Swedish fishness for 66 grand. 66 grand, uh, you know, I don't know. Is that is that a good deal? I, it seems to be. I, there's something about Swedish cars. For the most part, I like all things Swedish. I don't necessarily like Ikea furniture because I have to like put it all together myself. But you know, I, luckily we don't have to do that with the Volvo. You buy the car, it comes that way. It comes in a host of colors. Check out these colors. Uh, the, the design, uh, you know, there's so many great things about the design of this car, but what I like especially are the Thor hammer headlights. I mean, look at that. Did you, did you catch that? Did you notice that that's Thor's hammer? Hammer, like built right into the headlight. But the, the final thing is, the only problem with this, this whole car, this whole Volvo, is that it had to leave today and they delivered a different car. What is that car? You have to watch the vlog tomorrow. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell you what it is. <laughs>
it's important to follow your, your own path, people, because uh, when, you, when you get pressure from outside sources and you get suggestions about the way you should act and the things that you're supposed to do, uh, things don't really work out the way they're supposed to be. There's a lot of angst, there's a lot of frustration. It, you're not really happy when you're doing things according to how someone else thinks you should do things. And I have great respect for those uh, individuals, entrepreneurs, car companies, whoever, that decide to do their own thing, regardless of what other people suggest that they should be doing. When you worry about what other people think and what their their thoughts are about you and how you should live your life, then uh, it's a constant uh, hurtling race. Around every corner is another hurdle or something you gotta get around because you're always trying to please somebody else and that's no fun. And when you can make yourself a success and you can do the things that you love, then you affect people in a great way. Kathy's got this big Honda job in, but it, she just got a call from the Ellen DeGeneres show. There's something brewing there. Not sure what it is. Well, I know what it is, but you don't know what it is. So let's just pretend. Not sure what it is. It's gonna be awesome. We'll see you guys tomorrow.